Hello, can you see me? How about now? But in particular, can you hear me? Mic test, mic test, one, two. Well, if you do, that's a good start. Can you see me now? I guess I'm a bit too close. Have you ever wondered if you need a microphone when you shoot videos on your smartphone, the SLR, professional cameras, or even laptop? Well, the answer is yes, you do need a microphone. This tool not only gives you better quality and clarity when you talk to the camera, but also it's great to keep the quality constant throughout different devices. It also helps you to avoid issues like the wind blowing or the distance. And can this be the microphone we all need? Today we're going to review the Ceramonic Blink 500 Pro B1. That's a name. It took me 15 minutes to remember it, but we are going to review it. The Ceramonic Blink 500 Pro is a wireless microphone system. It comes with one receiver and one transmitter. We usually put the transmitter connected to a lapel mic on the person talking to the camera or the subject and we put the receiver on the camera or the recording device. This particular set, the B1, comes with one receiver and one transmitter but we also can find on the Ceramonic website the B2 which comes with two transmitter and one receiver for dual interviews or whenever you want to film two people talking at the same time to the same camera. Let's unbox the microphone and check out the overall packaging, which is actually really nice at first sight. You need to slide out another box, a black box this time. Once again, it feels really nice, opaque, black opaque, with the brand name right there. And then when you open this up, you will find the case containing the microphones. Of course, you got instructions manual, and this is the case containing the receiver and the transmitter. But before we get into that, uh, let's check out everything in the box and you have a couple of stickers with some quality certificates, warranty, policy and then you have the accessories. So let's open the accessories box first. In here you will find two mini jack, one for iPhone or smartphone in general and one for cameras, DSLRs and so on. So you have two of those. Then you have a USB-C, a mini USB cable and you also have a windscreen for the microphone and of course it comes with a lapel mic too which is the one I'm using right now connected to my transmitter already. The very interesting part of unboxing is by surprise that the case is a charger of the transmitter and the receiver so whenever you open the case you will find the two devices right here just laying here in these two uh, spaces made for those. You can charge the case through USB-C which means you can charge it through a power bank or through the electric socket. When the devices are charged the battery life lasts eight hours so you can use the receiver and the transmitter for eight hours in a row that's what they say on the website and we might test it out in a different vlog. The last thing I want to cover about the case is this button in the front of the case which says pair very helpful again because usually when you have these radio microphones you need to synchronize them on a radio channel and you can do so manually but with the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro you can lay the transmitter and the receiver in the charging slot and then you can just press the pair button and automatically the two devices will be connected, synced and ready to be used. Let's talk about some of the key features of the microphone. On the website they say you can transmit and receive a connection up to 100 meters. Very helpful if you do documentaries. On my right hand side you can see a beautiful... That's your left hand side! Well, I'm not great with documentaries but you get the point. You can select the stereo or mono modes on the microphone so you have two options if you want to do so. You can use the transmitter with a lapel mic that comes with the set but also you can add any other lapel mic if you have already one. Another good feature is you can actually disconnect the lapel mic 
and now you can use the transmitter as a microphone. So the transmitter has a built-in microphone omnidirectional, which means if you don't want any cable, you can just use the transmitter wireless and operate it as a microphone. So this is how I sound without the lapel mic by using the omnidirectional microphone of the transmitter. So this is the best option for you if you do backflips. And that's not all because also you have a windscreen that you can put on the transmitter. There it is. So in case of wind, that's how I sound. Well, there's not wind out here, but you can understand if the sound is a bit more muffled, which probably is, but this is going to be very helpful on windy days. If you use the transmitter without any lapel mic, you can use it with any other microphone that has a mini jack, like the Rode Video Mic Go. As you can see, a lot of different options, which I personally love because on set, sometimes you need to use the microphone in different ways. And this kit really allows me to do so at least for now this is an initial review so i will probably get back to you after testing the microphone properly on on a real world shoot so bear with me and consider to subscribe to the channel actually right now as an extra key feature we also have a digital display either on the transmitter and the receiver you can check the battery level you can check the channel and the audio waves so if any audio is going through the microphones which is great and the last key feature i'm going to talk about is the real-time audio output for earphones on the receiver so you can listen to what the interviewers are saying or if you're talking to the camera you can hear yourself live let's now talk about the dimension of this microphone i mean you can just see it it's extremely portable and compact it only weighs 32 grams and it measures 58 millimeters by 38 by 26 so really tiny i mean i compare it with the sennheiser ew100 this is a professional microphone too and the blink 500 is less than half of the size of the sennheiser Let's talk about prices because I'm sure you're very interested in that too. So the B1, which comes with one transmitter and one receiver, costs £190. You can find it on Amazon, link in the description tab. The B2, which is the version with two transmitters and one receiver, costs £285. I wanted to give you some extra insights and I wanted to compare the Blink 500 with a professional microphone like the Sennheiser EW100. This microphone cost more or less probably not now but it was costing between 300 and 500 pounds so the price definitely is much more than the ceremonic one so you are hearing me now through the sennheiser and not through the ceremonic and i wanted to show you just the difference for you to compare how the two microphones sound and this is the last test i'm actually using a microphone connected to the xlr connection which is considered the professional connection for microphones this is an AKG C417. So it's getting dark and before I actually go home, I wanted to talk about the battery life because I just checked. I kept the microphones on for four or five hours in a row without stopping. And as you can see, I've got three lines which indicate the battery life and I've still got all the three lines. So it's pretty good for this tiny battery and microphone. Now, the last thing I want to do is to walk down this path and see actually what the connection is if we can reach 100 meters or more than 20 meters as before so let's start walking now that's my father by the way <laughs> okay so i'm still talking and we're gonna see more or less how far i can get this is probably 15 meters already and yeah maybe 30 now let's keep walking if you can still see me this landscape is awesome by the way faccio ancora una prova e arrivo ma no, arrivo, eh. sto vedendo quanto arrivo di stante. Mm. So I'm still talking. Quanto sarà da qua là? 50, 50? So maybe 50 meters away. Let's keep walking. Dicono che arriva a 100. Prima l'ho perso a 20. <laughs> so, just talking to my dad saying I lost uh, 20 meters. And the car probably 100 meters. Signal here. Can pick me again if I move here. Yeah, I can see it from now. 
So you literally don't have to have anything in front of your line. Okay, I'm walking back. At no, no, tranqui. Ho finito. Back, there's no, there's no obstacle in front of me in the line of the connection. But I can't see. Here we go. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Can you hear me now? It's probably 50 meters away from the camera. I cannot see any audio waves going through the digital screen, which is not good. And I'm still walking. I'm probably 30 meters now from the camera. And I've got two lines of signal. Hello, hello, can you hear me? One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So this is what I wanted to test right here outdoors. Now let's get in the studio and as I'm editing this very video, I want to share with you what I think about the microphone and I'm gonna share my opinions on it. And here I am in the studio and I'm just finishing to edit this video. And what I've noticed about the Saramonic compared to other microphones like the Sennheiser or the AKG is for example that the Saramonic is more high frequencies oriented while the Sennheiser and the AKG are more low frequencies oriented but that's something you can fix in post-production and it just comes down to preferences anyway. What I love about the Blink 500 is the practicality and we talked about the case already which is the charger. As soon as you open the case your devices will start charging so that's very handy and also with the full charge of the case you can charge your devices probably three times. Then I love the portability, once again it's a tiny kit, everything kind of fits in this case apart from the lapel mic and the mini jack that goes from the receiver to the camera and more or less it's the same size of my Sennheiser. So whenever I travel more or less it's the same size. In here I can fit the receiver and the transmitter of the Sennheiser, the lapel mic and the batteries as well. So more or less it's the same size and weight. But still it's just cool that you can have everything in here including the charger. I also like the versatility of this mic. You can fit it on any device, recording device, smartphones, laptop, DSLRs and professional cameras like many other mics microphones anyway. Plus I love the pairing system with a simple push of a button you can sync the two devices so once again very helpful. Now the only downside I found in testing this microphone, the quick test I've done, was the distance of the signal. So I lost the signal after 20-30 meters. I was in a forest anyway so a lot of obstacles and trees that could interrupt the signal. But yes that was the only cons I found in the microphone so far. Okay I'm walking towards the same tree and I can see the So am I gonna use the Blink 500 and replace my Sennheiser? Well definitely I'm gonna use this whenever I vlog if I need a wireless microphone and in particular when I travel once again for its dimension and weight. And I'm sure I'm gonna use this microphone as well on professional shoots when I'm interviewing subjects close to the camera so where the signal is strong. But for professional shoots where my subjects need to be further away from the camera then I need a reliable connection and I think I'm still gonna use the Sennheiser. So these are my impressions overall so far and I want to hear what you think by watching this video about the Blink 500 so leave a comment down here below. And that's what I think about the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro. So if you want to keep climbing on trees and doing backflips without worrying about the audio, then this is the microphone for you. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And for now, I thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. And tell them to subscribe. Yeah, that's true though. Consider to subscribe. I will see you in the next video.